get to unmute yourself, okay? <gasps> okay, doesn't work with Jabra. Good to know, thanks. <laughs> Excellent. Cool, right, we're live. Oh, that's very cool. Excellent. So shall we start? Let's start, why not? Okay, that's, <laughs> that's nice. So hello, everyone. Uh, great that you came to our webinar. We're looking forward to deliver some amazing information to you about infinity. Uh, so let me introduce uh, at first, you know, first things first, right, Simon? Absolutely. <laughs> so let me, let me introduce uh, Simon Kirby and Maria here on the call. So Simon has worked for Click for how many, seven years? Yes, yeah, something, seven years, seven I think years, it was, yeah. yeah. So very nice, lo loads of experience in customer success solutions. So uh, really, really a um, lot of knowledge around, around people and expertise in industry. Uh, Maria, uh, uh, with a, I would say, developer background and math brain. So, <laughs> so she's going to deliver some, some information about the product, uh, focusing on, on, on the product features and product product uh, uh, roadmap. And uh, yeah, and I also have to say that recently I had to congrat congratulate you, Maria, because you've been appointed as Click Partner Ambassador recently. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so nice job, Maria. Great, great stuff. We should also say that Maria's husband is also a Partner Ambassador. We have oh, really? two, we yeah, have two uh, in the same company. It's very true. Radovan. 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 Yeah. yeah, very, very cool. So yeah, and um, I was the, oh, we're here with Simon in, in Cardiff today so somehow we in have be beautiful in wales beautiful wales. Yeah. and maria is in bratislava right in slovakia beautiful slovakia right yeah so broadcasting internationally today uh, so uh infinity bells and whistles uh, what is it and why infinity bells and whistles and, and here i have to give credit to our marketing manager imogen because she actually invented this name and we kind of fell in love with this this wonderful name of the webinar so we would like to deliver some information about you know people keep on asking us you know when we meet someone new asking us what is infinity what we can do and uh, we thought it would be good to have some format to inspire and maybe share some information explain maybe some concepts that we're trying to deliver uh, discuss maybe some positioning in terms of uh, you know why is infinity so powerful as uh, as, as it is and uh, answer maybe some technical questions so it should be also for technical audience and uh, yeah uh, share the roadmap as well because it's also always important the best brains are working on infinity and development of the products and so we should we should share this and maybe get some feedback also from you it's very important the way how we work basically is, is, is all based on feedback or listening so uh, yeah that's the that's the that's the webinar so with that point in my mind martin if guys if you've got any questions and you'd like to ask us um please write them down into the kind of the chat area in the in the webinar and what we'll do is we'll try and get to them at the end and we'll answer them uh, after we've done the presentation and the demo so we'll come back to those at the end yeah thank so, you I'm happy happy to, to answer any 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 question essentially that you may ask so uh there's a few a few uh yeah i would say of information about infinity to introduce so where we focus is uh, we're trying to enable our customers to act upon their data you know, and, and with this they should uh, transform their mission critical processes and what that actually means is that usually if you if you look at a, at a, at, at a, uh, a bi tool basically any analytical tool it's usually used for analytics you know so <laughs> as the name suggests so you basically load the data and then you make a decision and then you act Obviously. Where do you act? You usually act somewhere uh, with the phone, writing an email, or uh, export something to an Excel. Absolutely. <laughs> and, 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 and then, then do something with it, right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to, to automate this and make it make it easier for, for people not to, not to have to, to go outside of the BI tool, especially Click, that we're focused on, on Click and we're, we're in Click ecosystem. But we're trying to make sure that people actually can can do their actions right in click right and with this actually brings the click to a completely different level uh, it's, it's it's bringing you to the tier one uh, platform uh, which is part of the processes of, of, of the companies where people can you know, automate things and, and from operational perspective also execute things right absolutely i think that the ability to kind of let people enter data directly where they're enter information and context mm -hmm. directly where their data is is really key it's yeah, making yeah. that big difference and that's how they can transform the processes so yeah. so it, it is not just about entering some data somewhere into, in, into into the product that's where it usually starts but then you have much more much more functionality that you can use to really yeah. transform the processes so uh, in a sense we have uh, three uh, main products uh, forms for data capture flow for flow analysis and process analysis and 
small for unstructured data. They're all big native, uh, enterprise ready, working on ClickSense, ClickSense uh, on-premise SaaS, and also hybrid SaaS. So really ready for any deployment, high performing and secure and governed. So that's how we uh, how we position. In terms of uh, uh, 2023, which has just finished and we're already uh, running in 2024, uh, we had really a great year, I have to say. So uh, very, very, very nice growth, uh, like especially in the second half where you almost do like 90%, really cool. Uh, also the, the, the team, the product team uh, very much did not hesitate and <laughs> developed more than 100 features in the product, which is like brutal, it's like super cool. They were super busy last year. Super, crazy. super busy. And, and most of the features really are coming from the customer feedback and partner feedback. So that's why I can't emphasize this enough. It's really important. Uh, that if you have any thoughts, just please feel to share with us and, and, and make sure that we will definitely listen. And yeah, new use cases with new, with new customers. We had it uh, large customers. We're grateful to, to be with and thank you very much for, for, for working with us. So that's that's 2023. And uh, Simon, what, what do you think about the use cases? So this What we decided to try and do, Martin, I think was to put some thoughts around these use cases and kind of explain to them, explain to our customers and our partners what these use cases are and how they look. So we kind of try to group them together. I put three on here. There is actually four, but there are, I'm just going to, I love three. Three is the magic number. You know me. <laughs> Especially men's brains is usually exactly. uh, able to process three. <laughs> so what we kind of, we call these three right back, planning and process transformation. So we'll just kind of touch on these very quickly. So right back really is essentially that view of adding some context, adding some information to the data that you pulled into your ClickSense environment. So it's quite a straightforward use case, I think. It's essentially saying, this is the reason why we are here now, what's happened, Making, adding an explanation, adding some context. That's kind of really key. What's happening now? What's the status? How does that compare to something in the past, right? So that's the right back one. So you can also explain things like movements in numbers. You can also do some nice surveys, right? Where you can capture data from people, some nice simple use cases. Planning, planning I think for us, it's fair to say Martin, that four out of every five conversations we have with customers is generally about some kind of forward looking, some planning, something that's looking forward. And planning can mean many different things to many people, but it could mean something like creating a budget, maybe a forecast, very much those kind of financial planning. It could be project planning as well, but also you can do what if analysis, you could do scenarios, you can do some cash flow, sort of forecasting and so on. So planning is extremely popular and I think Infinity is very, very good about, about that. And Maria later will give you just a little hint of something that we're working on, but I'm not gonna steal her thunder anymore, <laughs> Maria. <laughs> so then the third one is around process transformation. This is the point you were making, Martin, about the ability to really take click with Infinity to that next level where you can deal, you can build and deploy transactional systems, definitely out, replace outdated spreadsheet solutions. I mean, some people have already seen things that we've developed around, around document workflow, but equally you can combine Click and Infinity with some of the really powerful new add-ons that have been brought into Click Cloud, things like Click Application Automation or AutoML. Um, and so when you combine all of these things together, you can actually do some really powerful workflows and some powerful transactional based things. The fourth one that's not on here is really around click admin and click development, right? Where you can do some kind of nice, clever DevOps things. Maybe you could automate your um, section access rather than do it in spreadsheets. You could do it in, in Infinity. So you then click your click security and cyclic. click. Yeah. not worrying about using spreadsheets to do that kind of thing. So yeah, those are the, the kind of groupings of some of the really fascinating use cases that we've seen in the last few months. And hopefully we can build out some more of these going forward. So guys, if you're if you're looking forward to uh, sharing your ideas with us about what you do, then absolutely let us know. We'd love to hear from you. That'd be fantastic. And that is usually our, 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 also the customer journey, right? So customers, uh, they, they like to start simple with some, some, something like, oh, I need to add some comments here to my opportunities. I need to add some categories to my products and so on, to my accounts. And, uh, and then they discover <laughs> the immense power that actually is here in Infinity and they start to have questions and ideas. And that, that's where they progress through planning use cases and really from, from really complex planning use cases, come into company reconciliation, even really like, like tough, tough things to 
to, to, to the most advanced use cases when they really see a legacy application such as case management, risk management, and they decide yeah. to replace it, right? Absolutely. With something which is more, 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 um, uh, say simpler, which is something, some, something governed and maybe easier to, to, to adjust and, and change uh, with their own hands without having to wait for some changes, some change requests and so on. So the customer journey is, is there and, uh, and, and that's, that's what we are trying to enable to the, to, to the customers, right? So that they can really see the big picture and, and, and be ambitious about what they would like to achieve, not just do some write back, right? But really yeah. do something powerful and transform, transform the processes. And that's it. That, that, that's it from 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 me and from Simon. We can go now. We'll leave you with Maria. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Maika, over to you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, but please don't go, go uh, anywhere. <laughs> uh, we'll stay here and keep you company. <laughs> <laughs> and ask you Perfect. questions. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, because I must apologize in advance uh, because uh, I have a bit cough. You know, mother's life. <laughs> so, uh, whenever you feel like uh, you want to add something uh, or so, feel free to interrupt me, guys, and uh, provide more information to uh, our audience. So, first of all, I want to share my screen. So, if you can confirm that now you can see Infinity Universe, that will yep. be perfect. We've got that, Maria, that's coming through. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank so, uh, yes, I'm on mute <laughs> that this is what we call Infinity Universe. Martin also know, and I really hope that uh, many people in our audience knows as well. Uh, but for those who don't know, uh, Infinity Universe is our <clears throat> publicly available demo portal. So if you want to experience all the capabilities uh, we will show here or, if you, or you want to try uh, something by yourself, you can go to uh, demo.myinfinity.com uh, and log into the portal. If you don't have uh, access already, there is a button uh, request access. So uh, it's that simple. Uh, I am logged in here, as you see. Uh, and the first thing I want to show you that I'm very proud of when it comes to releases and those 100 new features and uh, adjustments in uh, last year is something we call uh, Infinity Flow Wizard. So I will go to the demo application called Superpowers of Infinity Flow. As you see, it opens ClickSense application, so you don't need to go uh, anywhere else. And uh, what you see here uh, is something that's been uh, already here for a while. It's infinity flow object. So uh, it started as a process visualization extension because that's something, uh, that, let, let's be honest, was missing in the click environment. So we decided to build it. Why not? Uh, and the process you see here uh, is uh, designed or is visualized based on the data you have in your data model. So the process steps, all the lines between the steps, uh, what's written here, what is the KPIs that are visualized here in the measure section, everything is coming from data model. So thanks to that, I can switch between different selections in my click and see, for example, different processes. Or make some selections, you know, click associative data model. So nothing here. This is a uh, really unique uh, visualization, or not just the visualization, really unique extension in ClickSense environment. Uh, but as Martin said, uh, we really like to hear customers' thoughts and partners' thoughts. And it was like, OK, it's perfect if you have data about the processes. But what if I just have the process in my mind? I just want to draw the process. Martin, you know <laughs> what I mean, right? <laughs> On our meetings, <laughs> you uh, also wanted to draw the process <laughs> personally. So uh, we said, OK, let's develop something like that. And that's exactly what we call Infinity Flow Wizard. So here I have a sheet with uh, just the data from a data model about uh, some business, fictional business, <laughs> uh, about leads, opportunities, customers, and uh, losses. Obviously, you can just list different KPIs. Uh, one uh, near each other, but uh, 
the relations are completely ignored here. And this is a simple use case because uh, we have just limited time, but uh, especially for more complex use cases, the relations between KPIs, the relations between steps of the process are the key. That's the key context you want to see. So let me go to custom objects, infinity bundle section, flow wizard. I can drag and drop it on my sheet as any other extension. And here it is. I can literally draw the pixel perfect process myself. So I just click the plus button and new node is here. If I want to change the name, say that this uh, will be the information about leads, I change it in the properties panel. That's also something I already know because that's a click native thing. If I want to change something, I can do it uh, in the properties panel. If I want to change design of this node, of this uh, brick, <laughs> I can do it here by using node color. I can select specific icon, or I can use some pre-built designs. So I can say that uh, uh, it will be it will be start. Okay, we can create a new one uh, with this design. So uh, leads is the first uh, in our process. Then uh, there are opportunities. So I can very quickly create opties, sales. So our customers and also the business potential that we lost. As you see, I can really play with it uh, however I want. And uh, if I want to create or draw those relations I mentioned before, I will just click here. And now I am in the mode where I can define the relations by myself. So you don't need to be uh, afraid of any expressions or data model. This is what you can do out of the box just by using uh, Infinity Flow uh, wizard extension. And now, when the process owner, for example, uh, draws this process, he or she can say, uh, OK, Maria, this is the process we have. Please add uh, data from a data model to those steps. And I will say, OK, perfect. I'm taking over. <laughs> and here in the leads, I can again go to the properties panel and define measure by expression. In this case, it will be number of leads. And as you see, that's exactly the KPI I have here. So doing that, I can define count the number of leads, uh, total opportunities, and so on, working with data coming from my data model. So uh, what do you think will happen when I make any selections? Let me guess. It responds. Right. Wow, check it out. <laughs> I watched yeah. one of our customers last year, Maria. He'd been trying to build something like this by using um, the kind of click APIs and some coding. And he was really struggling with this. And I know that was one of our inspirations to do this. This is fantastic and would really, really solve that guy's problem. So yeah, thank you. This is brilliant. Yeah, it, it's definitely coming from the real world because very often there are those two personas uh, being responsible for the process or steps of the processes. The first one is the one who knows the process or the set of people <laughs> who knows the, the, the whole process. And then there is data owner. There is something from controlling, from IT, but it can be also a financial guy or, or whoever who knows how to work with uh, Click as the perfect data analytics platform and how to how to write the expressions, yeah, to define the measures and things like that. And this is exactly how you can combine those two together in very on or uh, in one environment, because otherwise one would draw the process somewhere in. I don't know, <laughs> on a paper <laughs> or uh, in some painting tool. And uh, then the other one will be struggling uh, creating a dashboard 
without Infinity Flow uh, wizard. And uh, as you saw, this is really like a pixel perfect thing. <coughs> so as you uh, might start imagining, you can use it not only for processes, but also, for example, for uh, different kind of diagrams. So this again is nothing else than Infinity Flow wizard that I used to visualize my uh, ClickSense architecture. And it's here, it's in ClickSense itself. So this is the best source of information I can have for my internal purposes. Uh, I can have for uh, the audit, for example, because the documentation is in the product itself. And again, it can be uh, linked to a data coming from a data model. So all the information here, all the measures can be, <coughs> can be uh, connected to the data thanks to uh, clicks associated data model. Another and uh, the last example I want to show you is this very unique thing <laughs> and it's a floor plan. So again, that's something that if you want to create in uh, Click itself, you probably need to know uh, things about KMLs. Who wants to work with that? Who wants to spend uh, a lot of time preparing some, some uh, files to be able to use floor plan in a map object? If you can literally do it like that, <laughs> move it where it should be, and this can be uh, uh, this can be a production line, for example, yeah, or it can be a warehouse. And again, thanks to the link between the data and this visualization, it's interactive. In this case, I am using click variable to. Uh, define the range in uh, which the data is OK. And then I have information that OK, here is some problem or some issue or something I need to solve. And thanks to that, when a manager opens application like that, he or she instantly knows what she or he uh, should be focused on. So uh, are you talking about uh, digital twins? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about features and you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> those, <laughs> those passwords. <laughs> but yes, yeah, that, that's exactly it, right? This is how you really can visualize how it works in real life. Yeah. It's a great idea. It's a really good idea. Thank you. <laughs> I uh, really hope that also the audience thinks that. So uh, feel free to share comments. As was said, feel free to also ask questions. We will answer them uh, at the end of the session. Uh, so once you know the processes, you have this <laughs> in your click. No, no, I'm just joking. Uh, when you are ready to add your own data, that means whenever, <laughs> you can go to uh, HR team uh, management application. And uh, here on this sheet, you see uh, the overview of my team in a company, uh, some data, you know, click visualizations. Again, everything is interactive. But what I want you to uh, focus on right now is this object. It's called uh, forms command object. And uh, it's the way how you can discuss some data uh, or some visualizations with your colleagues. And specifically, this <laughs> is a notification directly in the application that, OK, here on this object, geoanalysis, there are some new comments I haven't seen yet. And since there is this bell, someone mentioned me. So probably uh, someone wants me to, to really read that message. And I can click on this button. That's also one of uh, the new things uh, in the last few releases. <laughs> so uh, when I open the button, when I click on the button, this pop up opens here with all the chatting threads. I see the message where I am uh, mentioned, highlighted. So, ah, OK, there is there is uh, something I should uh, know about. OK, there is a snapshot. So another thing that, that's uh, new in this uh, whole forms command object experience so you can add snapshots you can add uh, attachments uh, i see there are selections 
So I can very easily click on this button and the selections are applied. So right now I see exactly what was on the screen when uh, the comment was, uh, uh, was sent, was created. I can reply. Okay, let's discuss later. It's important. Uh, Maria, it's, it's probably worth mentioning at this point that for those people on the, on the webinar that don't know this, right, this capability works on-prem and on cloud, right? Yes. It works yeah. well on both. <laughs> Fantastic. That's really good because this this is the kind of capability that Click have added something like this into Click Cloud, but not on-prem. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And also, uh, when it comes to even when it comes to the Click Cloud, uh, the whole experience you have uh, with threads with uh, for example, uh, yeah, using the snapshots, uh, especially uh, when you attach file, that's something you don't have even in that. Uh, yeah, click. that's a good point. No, I, I don't think. see how, how aligned we are because you you stole my question from my brain. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted to ask. <laughs> Obviously, we get these questions from time to time, like uh, why should I use this if I have some native uh, native nodes in the cloud, right? In the cloud yeah. version, which by all means are absolutely. We absolutely recommend to use no problem but uh, but this this gives a completely different level of functionality that you can actually achieve if you really want to keep your users uh, chatting in in click uh, because you can add you can add these 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 snapshots you can add files you can you, you can do a lot right so but you basically answered my castle so. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it's not only about chatting because you can use any other platform to chat about how are you and uh, when are we going for lunch right <laughs> you don't need to do that in click but here <laughs> you literally uh discuss data as you see there is this new icon integrated icon in a click object that opens the very same uh pop-up with the comments and all the connections to, to the data, yes, selections, snapshots, and things like that, you really discuss data where the data is. You don't need to leave a click sense. Uh, one of the can, things. And, and yeah. you can tag people, and you can tag people, right? Because they yeah. can, and then they know that it's somehow related to them. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's a good tool to give tasks to your teams, right? So if I, next time I have my sales meetings, <laughs> <laughs> prepare properly. <laughs> Also, don't forget to use uh, tags like that. It can be questioned, but there can be to do or high priority or in progress, done, and uh, whatever you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Because when you click that, it's really easy to search for all comments that are tagged by this uh, yeah, specific tag, <laughs> this specific verb. Maria, we, we actually have a question from one of our customers. Uh, yeah. Brooks has asked us, are the current filters tied to comments so that only comments appear that are applicable to what is filtered. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, currently, uh, you see all the comments here. Uh, it's not linked to, to uh, the filter, so there is no like subset of comments. And the reason is simple. Like, actually, we, we uh, really thought about it, but if you if you disagree, uh, feel free to uh, share your thoughts. But uh, when we were discussing that internally, uh, we thought that you really might miss important context when we just filter out some comments you don't know about. Yeah. Because in click, when you make selections, you still see the rest, right? It's uh, grayed out, but you still see the context, and that's the power. Even when I am discussing uh, something with my colleagues there is a high prob probability that something important is said in, in uh, the other comment. Yeah. But as I said, if you, <coughs> if you disagree or uh, you have a use case where that would be uh, really useful to have, please let us know. We are open for discussion. But what yeah. you can also do is search, right? So if you really want to yeah. find some, some, some information, just like in other chatting platform, you can just search yeah. and uh, this will show you uh, any information related to that keyword or basically search for full text across, the, across the, the, the comments. So that's how you can basically 
narrow down what you see if you need to uh, filter something. Yeah. Thank Guys, you. Uh, on the audience, just in the spirit of time, there's lots of lovely questions coming. I think we've got time to answer them all right now. Just so that you know, our wonderful chief technology officer, Thomas Yancho, is on the is on the uh, call as well. And thank you, Thomas. He's answering many of the questions in the chat. Keep them coming. If we can ask them, we will. If we don't have time, Thomas will do his best to answer them now. If not, we'll get back to them at the end and we'll reply to you afterwards. But we promise to answer everybody. All right. So just I'm conscious that we've had 30 minutes and we've got lots of great questions coming in. But Maria, I know you've got a few more things to cover, so we'll let you crack on. Okay. Actually, quite a lot of things to cover. You know, one hundred new features. Oh, that's the problem. That's that we can't do all of them. We have to. We have to keep them to a small number. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Cool. But, uh, but what, what, we can do it individually for them. We can, of course. Yeah. Let us know, guys, if you want to have a call with us. We'll de definitely dive in deeper on a on a one to one. Thanks, Brooks. As well. Okay. Thanks for the questions. Good questions. Also, the way how we can fasten it a bit is uh, if I mention things about the roadmap right as i'm uh, showing <laughs> some functionality so for example with this uh, possibility to really discuss uh, data in threads with your colleagues uh, there will be an option to have this pop up embedded directly on the sheet so it won't be linked to a specific visualization but it will be embedded right here and you will uh, yeah see the, the chat and you will have the whole experience right on the sheet that might be uh, very interesting for use cases like um, uh, monthly accounting closure. Yeah, when you have the data visualized here in some file table or, or, or whatever you find useful. And everyone who is involved can share some information, question, context right next to the data on, on the sheet. So that's uh, one of the things that you can uh, look forward to. Okay, uh, let's uh, speed up a bit. <laughs> so, what you can see here is uh, editable table. So it's a different kind of uh, the writeback because also the object commenting is writeback. You uh, save your data, you save your comments somewhere. This is a more structured approach uh, where you have editable table. Uh, I won't go through uh, the standard presentation of uh, how easy it is to work with it <laughs> uh, because of the time. Uh, but I want to uh, show you one of the things that's new. And uh, again, it's something that many customers were asking for. Uh, and that's the possibility to change its design from this classic click native theme to a modern style. So now it uh, might not be uh, so invisible, <laughs> uh, as, as I like to say about the, the standard design, but this is a much more modern design, I really think uh, and hope you, you agree. And especially if you uh, use that in multiple forms object you have on the sheet and the whole sheet is designed in a similar way, uh, it really is so cool. <laughs> cool and, and modern, uh, yeah. maria it obviously works on this table uh view but does it also work on the single record view do we have a modern design for that one too uh yes thank you very much that's a really great bridge to <laughs> another sheet <laughs> because here uh i have a sheet where uh, there's single record view or a uh, single form uh and uh, yeah, okay that's not the one I, okay let me come back to the demo portal that's the right place so hr team management and when i open the application there is the official working version of this demo application so here i can select one employee and uh, edit all the information about the person right here so again you don't need any spreadsheets notes uh, i don't know pencil and paper everything can be uh, saved here and the very same way i changed uh, the theme in this uh, table i can do it here so again in appearance section presentation i go down and there is uh, 
team modern. The only limitation, I'll be open because uh, <laughs> that's what I like, uh, is that uh, modern team is not yet available for uh, form specific. That's this object where you can really enter long uh, notes and uh, you have all these uh, text styling options. But that's also something uh, you can look forward to in 2024. So modern team adjustments uh, is also one of the things on the roadmap. Yeah, and I, I would like to emphasize here that actually this is just one of the ways how uh, forms uh, how forms can look, right? Because yeah. uh, we support custom teams. So that means if you have yeah. any uh, corporate identity, any any colors, whatever logos that you need to make sure that somehow shine out of the, out of the forms, then you can do it. Right? You can use custom teams and click and, and just customize it to whatever. And there are really amazing custom companies that can really help with, with this customization. Um, and it's, it's not, not too difficult, so you can also, also do it. Um, yeah. What, yeah, what's cool, and the reason why we uh, didn't create that as custom team, this modern one, is that you can use the modern team here and adjust it with click custom team. So this nice. can be the base, and you can use the click custom team just to change, for example, font of the text. Yeah, or some colors, but the rest will be uh, coming from this modern team. So that's the way how you really can combine uh, all the possibilities you have. So if you have users that really care about uh, having really the modern and super tailored uh, visualizations and, and, and look and feel has to be completely aligned with your uh, corporate identity, then basically there's no limit. That's what we wanted to say, right? That's a really good wrap up. Uh, okay, the next things uh, that were new uh, in 2023 uh, are some new field types. Uh, you may notice that this bonus for M. Keaton is pre-filled, it's cal calculated based on some logic. But if me as her team leader or as her manager wants to uh, change it, I can easily click on this button, switch, let me make it a bit larger, switch from a non-editable field saying that, okay, this is what's calculated, but I really think that she outdid her, herself <laughs> and I want to give her a bigger bonus. I can save the data and that's it, it's here. So uh, this is the field type that uh, is really helpful for uh, this kind of use cases. And uh, I really think that many of you are now thinking about the planning <laughs> because that's exactly what's useful uh, when, you, uh, when you cover planning use cases in your click with infinity. So what you have here uh, is <coughs> another uh, very quick demo application I put together. I'm using infinity form general, so the editable table saying that I want to pre-fill all the data for upcoming six months by using last year data. You see, it's like that. No reload of the application, no, I don't know, refresh of the screen or, or anything. That's really cool. That is really cool. It's like that. And I can change it. I can uh, make adjustments. I can I can make some manual adjustments saying, okay, but we'll be a bit more ambitious. Again, Martin, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be 15,000. Yeah. The now, Maria, one, one really important point for people that are new to forms, and we did this with the customer on Thursday last week, and it was super impressive, right? Just so that you know, when you hit that save button, the red button in the middle of the screen, right? That allows everyone that's using this form to see what you've entered, correct? Yes. And it doesn't do an upload, a reload of the data, does it? No. No, no. it just saves the data. Everyone using the sheet, everyone using the form can see it, but there's no reload yeah. going on. Developers exactly. will love you for this. Well done. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we will uh, we will save the data, but before that, let me show uh, another cool feature 
uh, it's not new, but I'm so proud of it. <laughs> so I really <laughs> want to share it with uh, the audience we have here. And this is a custom button. Uh, it's a custom action I can define in infinity forms. So if there are some steps of the process that should be done, but uh, you don't have space on the screen to have a lot of objects there, this is exactly the solution for that. So I click the button, a new pop-up open here on my screen, and it contains click master visualization. So this is nothing else than click variable object. So I can say that uh, please adjust all the data by 15 percent and that's it yeah all the numbers have been changed except for those i have locked because i edited manually that's the way how it's customized here and nice. when i now hit the save button not only the data uh, uh, that i entered are is saved but also the rest of the application uh, is updated and, and just to be, just to be clear, no reload. No, no reload. No reload. No reload because what wow. uh, what what we used here is uh, something called SSE server side extension functions. Service it's a click native extension. function to connect with the third party software. So we utilize these functions and created our own functions. as you see forms read yeah, yeah so as a function you don't have unless you uh install infinity forms or use infinity forms on, uh, in your cloud so obviously nice. you can load the application if you want <laughs> but why would you do that, that is, okay when you have cool. like millions of data millions of manual inputs or i don't know hundreds of uh, editable columns then okay i would recommend to uh reload the application when you want to use the data in other objects in in the click app yeah but for for uh cases like this it's it's uh that easy and when you were talking uh, okay i really need to be more aware of the time sorry sorry but there are so <laughs> many things i really want you to see and be excited about <laughs> uh when you were talking about this uh instant uh refresh did you notice what happened? Oh, yeah, you see two people at the same, in the same using. You're pretending to be two different users, right? Uh, yes, I'm Skype yes. Got it. OK. <laughs> and uh, right now, you see how many people are working with the very same data yep. uh, at the very same time. And this is locked. Record. I haven't locking. even. I haven't even had this uh, window active. It was in the background <laughs> and it's automatically locked because someone else is editing this row right now. Yeah. So that's what we call real time collaboration. And now when I hit the save button again, it's automatically updated for every single person using uh, the application with infinity forms and no reload. There was no reload at all. Excellent. So let's say you have uh, 5,000 users. They will not mess with each other. Exactly. And uh, no worries. There won't be 5,000 icons. <laughs> if there are more than five, <laughs> uh, there is this number in a circle. <laughs> That's what I call enterprise ready, right? <laughs> So, Maria, I'm conscious of the time, right? I know there are loads of other things that we could cover. We probably need to jump into maybe the roadmap for 2024. Before we do that, where, if anyone wants to go and look about more detail of this, where should they go? I know we did some videos, right? Can we? Can they go and look at those videos on our YouTube channel? Uh, yes, there is a YouTube channel, um, of the official account Infinity, or you can go to uh, also our web page. Yep. Uh, myinfinity, myinfinity.com, and there is a really great section news where you can see not only information about events that uh, are upcoming and uh, also are available uh, on demand, but uh, also what's new videos when it comes to releases, information about uh, uh, the main features, and for all developers and people who really want to know everything. <laughs> 
uh, when you go to the properties panel of our uh, expansions of our product, you can uh, always find a link to the documentation. And when you go to the documentation, there is a change log section that contains all the details, all That's the right. adjustments, bug fixes, new features, everything. That's brilliant. Excellent. So uh, to really wrap up uh, this Infinity Forms, just two other things very quickly in one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> There are also uh, other new field types available since uh, last year. And uh, the first one is this radio button. That's oh, very nice. great for uh, stories, for example, or, um, or quality assurance forms. And the other one uh, is what we call sections that really helps you uh, get long forms organized. Very so we nice. always have the overview of sections, what is available, and when you when you uh, expand it, it works the very same way. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, so we kind of uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, we kind of uh, <laughs> skip the uh, infinity mole. And uh, what we did in Infinity Mall uh, in 2023, but uh, as I mentioned, you can find it in what's new. And if someone is uh, interested in Infinity Mall itself, let us know. We are we are eager to hear from you and show you uh, on a call. Uh, so this is roadmap for uh, 2024. What you can look forward to. Uh, one thing uh, that's across the whole year, except for all the others that we. Uh, uh, are committed to developing uh, products that are useful and valuable for everyone who are using them, uh, is that we want to uh, provide even more inspiration and uh, accelerators like this demo application uh, you just, show, uh, you just uh, saw. Uh, it will be uh, still at Infinity Universe, so demo.myinfinity.com. Uh, there will be much more uh, inspirational content over 2024, including uh, self-service courses. So uh, some kind of uh, self-guided um, self-enablement, but that's planned for the second half of 2024. When it comes to uh, products themselves, as always, as every single year from the very beginning, uh, we keep thinking about not only end users, but also administrators and developers. So that's why it's uh, organized this way. So when it comes to users, as I mentioned, there will be adjustments in the modern team and also this commenting that will be uh, embedded on the sheet. So it's even better experience, uh, no more, no additional clicks you, you need to do. When it comes to administrators and developers, uh, again, coming from the real life uh, request, there will be the possibility to manage uh, hundreds of users in your click cloud by using uh, user groups. Right now, you can have hundreds of users and it will work well, but uh, you need to uh, manage it uh, user by user. So user groups uh, are coming. Actually, they are already there. <laughs> so they are coming pretty soon. Uh, also, we will uh, inform you that uh, your expiration or that your license is about to expire pretty soon. So it will uh, prevent uh, you from just uh, <coughs> not having access to Infinity Forms anymore. So you will be informed that uh, it's about time to renew the license. Uh, one, of the, one of the features I didn't show you is the autosave that's already available. So it can uh, save whatever you have in your forms um, every five seconds. And in that case, many administrators uh, were asking like, okay, but they are, then I really don't want the change log <laughs> because it will be like, oh, full of data. Uh, so there will be an option to disable change log for that cases, but it's up to you. Yeah, you, you, uh, you make the decision. Uh, also based on the real life, uh, as was already mentioned multiple times, uh, we want to uh, keep enhancing forms planning capabilities. Uh, that's uh, yeah coming in, in May 2024. So at Click Connect, <laughs> you can, uh, for example, uh, meet my colleagues and uh, get more information and uh, see what's new. 
also there will be another bells and whistles webinar right after the next release there will be yeah yeah perfect <laughs> uh when it comes to infinity flow uh the infinity flow wizard this pixel perfect uh designer uh it will be able to also have actions if you already use infinity flow you know what it means uh if not you should let us know we will show you <laughs> uh in uh, the second release of 2024, uh, again, for end users, uh, we will bring functionalities, uh, additional functionalities on Click Cloud, like file upload, notifications outside of Click application, because what you saw, it was the notification inside the Click app, but uh, really be able to uh, send email, yeah, or Slack or Teams message that uh, someone mentioned me in the comments. So that's also coming. Uh, also, new formatting options because uh, Click is bringing many new, and uh, we definitely want you to have the best experience. So, we will uh, include them in our products as well. Uh, one of them is also this slide out properties panel for admins and developers. So, you will have much more space for all the uh, amazing features and properties. Uh, and we also want to bring Forms Wizard. So the same way as you as you design the process, the uh, Infinity Flow Wizard, you would be able to to design, uh, for example, the single form. Yeah? So the position of the field, the sections that are collapsible, and things like that. And for Infinity Flow, uh, we want to bring swim lanes because many of our customers are start using Infinity Flows for uh, really complex processes to to visualize and share uh, across their team and. Obviously, uh, they contain uh, sub processes that uh, should be organized, and the swim lanes is the right way how to do that. So, that makes sense. It will be in the product. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Do Maria, what a, what a roadmap right? for the year. Lots of exciting stuff coming this year, which is really oh. good. I personally, as someone with a finance and financial services background, you know me, I'm excited about the planning capabilities. Oh, so, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. That will be really, really good. Don't tell so, anyone but me too. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Guys, we've had lots of lots of questions. Let's see if we can just answer a couple of them while we've got a few minutes and then we'll wrap up in just a minute. So Maria, one of the questions that come in from uh, Ryan from one of our partners um, is there a place where partners and customers can request uh, new features and ideas? How would they do that? Uh, currently, it's uh, via your partner manager or when you are in communication with our support. So if uh, yeah, there is uh, some ongoing co communication, feel free to say it to them. Uh, we share that information internally. Don't worry about it. Uh, we do have a plan. Uh, for, for the upcoming period also to uh, build some kind of uh, portal at Infinity Universe that uh, enables you to, to share the ideas and also maybe vote, uh, vote for, for some uh, ideas coming from others and things like that. So uh, it's, it's, it's coming. Until then, please share with anyone <laughs> you are in touch with from, <laughs> from our side. Excellent. So, guys, I am conscious of the time. I think we probably we've been running for nearly an hour, which is just brilliant for a webinar. Maria, you've been stupendous. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to hand back to Martin to give you a nice wrap up for us at the yeah. end here. So, uh, I assume there are many more questions, so we'll definitely answer them uh, in the in the chat. And, yeah. uh, and, and please do not hesitate to reach out. Really, we're really happy, happy to, to talk to you and share more. And yeah. Uh, I would be personally uh, interested in, in maybe in your feedback. So if you can share maybe what are your favorite features that we were presenting or maybe what are your favorite features that you saw in the roadmap, because that's that's the feedback and that's the best thing you can give us uh, apart from a nice project, but you can also give us <laughs> the feedback. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that would be great. And the otherwise, nice Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, Simon, for your insights, and Micah, for your insights. So thank you very much, and thank you everyone for joining. And we're looking forward to the to further uh, further events. Uh, we definitely plan uh, event basically every month from now, uh, definitely until Click World, and then the Click Connect. Sorry, and after Click Connect, uh, bells and whistles webinar as well. So there'll be a lot of opportunities where we can talk and meet and, and chat. So looking forward.
Thanks. 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 Always reach out to us. Of course. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.